Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to find out more than one roots or multiple roots of quadratic equations, cubic polynomial equations and equations having to the power 4 or more powers directly on this case of fx known on ES calculator. Also some cool tricks related to that. So let's start. First I will solve this quadratic equations directly on this calculator. For that press this mode button and press 5 for equation solver mode and press 3 for quadratic equations you can see it has to power a square and enter the coefficients so 1 square press 1 plus 2x plus 2 minus 2 and press equals to button so it will give you the first root that is the positive root that is 0 0.73205 which is also obtained by Newton Raphson method but it will also give you the second root that is the negative root minus 2.73205 isn't it cool next I will tell you how to solve a cubic polynomial equations for that press 4 in equation mode and enter the coefficients as previous so 1 cube minus 0 x square so enter 0 for that minus 3 x plus 1 and enter equals to so it will give you the first root that is the minus root minus 1.87 and our second root that is 1.53208 1.532 obtained by regular falsi method and also the third root which is 0 0.3472 but not only that you can also solve equations having to the power 4 also or more than that for that enter mode and press 1 for computational mode and let's enter an equation so press alpha and this button for x press this button for to the power so x to the power 4 minus x press shift and square button to get cube minus x square minus 10 to solve it first you have to know the range of root so for range press calc button and start from 0 so for x equals to 0 this f of x or this expression will give you minus 10 so for x equals to 1 it will be minus 11 for x equals to 2 it's minus 6 and for x equals to 3 it is plus 35 so since our f of x changes sign between 2 and 3 our one root lies between 2 and 3 now press alpha and this calc button to get the equals to sign and enter 0 and now we'll solve it so press shift and calc and now in solve for x value enter either the lower range of the root that is 2 or the upper range of the root that is 3 let's enter the lower range and press equals to so our root is 2.28100 how to know whether this answer is correct or not according to the definition of root it says that root is the value which is substituted for the unknown quantity here the unknown quantity is x satisfies the equation is called the root of that equation so here if we substitute our obtained value this value in place of x it should give us equals to 0 isn't it let's try it so for that you have to program your calculator so the answer we obtained is stored in the answer variable so press answer and press equals to so answer is this and now we will use this answer or this root to program the calculator so press answer to the power 4 minus so it should give us equals to 0 so press equals to that is equals to 0 so our root is correct isn't it cool as it has power as 4 so it should give us 4 roots 
but if you solve it in computational mode you will get only one root for one given range you have to start increasing range from zero to infinity to get all the roots and the second restriction is that it is not possible to solve all the equations directly on this calculator because of because of some computational restrictions one more thing i uploaded videos explaining all the features of this calculator all the eight modes from mode one computational mode mode two complex number mode mode three statistics mode mode four number system mode mode five equation solver mode mode six matrix solver mode mode seven table generator mode and mode eight vector calculations mode you can get all my calculator videos on my youtube channel the link is given in the video description below also i uploaded more than 27 videos on all the numerical techniques such as regular falsi method newton napson method newton forward newton backward and many more the playlist link for my numerical method videos also given in the video description so i hope this video was helpful to you if you like this video don't forget to like the video using the like button below and subscribe to my youtube channel by subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me just whenever i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and please share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing